Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at the sphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. What up, good people? Welcome back to the episode of That Boom Bab. Yeah, it's early as fuck and we in this piece. <laughs> I'm your co-host, Gary Lee, also known as G. Hawkins. Look, people, I ain't, I ain't in the mood today, so I'm, I'm <laughs> semi-warm, right? I'm just, it's one of them days, but we gonna knock this shit out. Of course, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snappity, chatting at G. Hawkins. That's G. Hawkins with the Z and my main man, Reem, in the building, Reem. What up? I'm in a much better mood than you are. Fuck, so I, I guess it. we'll keep the balance today yeah. where, you know. This your show. I'm just here. <laughs> I'm here to give cues to the tech and, that, and be like, Terry, just, that's all I'm doing today, man. Just just bear with us. I like that sweatshirt, though. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah. I'll see you in the polo today. I'm fucking lightweight, man. Yeah. It's like burn this shit. I don't care. Yeah. It's one of them days, Until man. you see the ashes, you'd be like, wait, fuck. I remember how much that cost me. Oh, fuck. Damn, I have to stay in line <laughs> for that shit. I, I, I ain't even paid for that yet. Man. Damn. Oh, that's a whole lot. Uh, but, you know, man. But, Joe, if y'all see me over here in, 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 my, in my bag, it's only because I'm doing a bunch of research today. No, it's cool. It's um, one of those shows. Shout out to everybody on Facebook Live. The screen is a little far from me, so I can't see who's checking with us right now. Yeah, Lornette's um, in the building. What up, Lornette? What up, what up? We, we appreciate you. Shout out to a la carte. Um, keeping us healthy. Word, we keeping appreciate Keeping us with good that. food, good recipes. You know. That's the plug. Um, shout out to everybody who ride with Damn. us on SoundCloud, Stitcher. Oh, y'all. Uh, iTunes, iHeart. Art radio, all oh, that YouTube. Shit. I saw the I saw the views increasing on YouTube. I'm yeah. excited and about we don't that. Even appreciate it. Hard. I do. That's so funny. I yeah. do. I, I post a link on on Twitter. No, I you appreciate know. that. Shit, um, when we get this assistance, start on Monday. We can get our shit popping again. Yeah. Yeah, man. I guess we're doing I'm good. I'm so stressed. Man. Let me tell you, I'm just happy to be alive. I'm man, just I, I just want to give a man. bunch of shout outs, man. I, look, the reason why I'm in such a good mood is because yeah. I, I am very thankful. I've been in a very thankful mm -hmm. bliss for the last couple of days. Yeah. Where I just want to give people the roses while they can smell them, give them everybody they, they, they shout outs. Um, so on that note, I want to holler at uh, Karen Hunter. Thank you so much, you and Cousin Sil, for allowing us to come into your studio and invade your personal space yeah <laughs> we appreciate that appreciate thank you so that. much she was like why are all these people in my I know, studio right? we did do that that was so dope so shout out to, yeah. to them and everyone that's yeah. serious so people this ain't the usual show let me just say that shit we're gonna do something a little bit different rain came up with a great idea of going back over the last 20 excuse me the last this full year all the episodes we've done mm -hmm. looking back at the at the the different albums we've reviewed and build this top 20 which will then you know curate down to a 10 for our mm -hmm. as we normally do our top 10 which is spanned across two different shows because it's such a fucking argument but um i say that to say we're going to start from January and work our way up to December for all the albums we have reviewed yeah. this year. It's a lot of shit. Sit back, roll with us, drop some hints, some notes on Facebook Live. And if you're catching this after Facebook Live, shit, shoot us an email. Hit us up on Twitter, on our personal tweets. Hit us up on the on the show tweet, whatever the hell is, at the Sphere TV, hashtag boom bap. Because we want to have a conversation with you and just kind of get a feel for how you feeling you know about what? the shit we reviewed. And, and another thing, too, I'm going to keep it. A buck, yeah. As 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 you like to say, mm -hmm. um, I no, thought I got this that was from? I stole that from a uh, from a uh, good, good bar, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He kept saying real rap, <laughs> keep it Let's keep it a buck. Let's I was like, I gotta steal I like, that. Yo, I like That's, that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't adapted it, but I yeah. like it though. It's, what it's, I haven't lot. used is uh, how, when somebody hits you and they say, "How you doing?" You like, I'm low, I'm low key like the bottom lock. I hadn't used that mm. yet. 
but I'm waiting. So another reason why I wanted to do this, because in a sense, you know, just being honest, I, I wanted to big ourselves up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I wanted to give, make sure I gave us a, a, a pat on the back. Sure. Um, I've been getting a lot of good energy from a couple of people where, you know, we, you know what we doing matters. What yeah. we, you know, people are caring. So. You know, I wanted to take a moment to do two things, kill two birds with one stone. Number one, for anybody that's, you know, just now getting a chance to check us out, you know, you'll get the an idea of, of what we're bringing to the table as far as our album reviews and the shit that we're checking for. Yeah. Um, and then it's another way for, you know, our audience, whether y'all on Twitter, Facebook, whatever it may be, to interact with us and help us get this list down to 20, now right? I'm with it. Because here's the funny thing. I was just looking over, because um, I'm, I'm looking for the, the, the spreadsheet so I can mm -hmm. see which albums we did. But when I was, went to the website, which is www.thesphere.tv, um, and then you click on our link. You could go all the way back and see all the past episodes. Mm -hmm. I forgot that we reviewed Cool G Rap's album. I forgot yeah. he put out well, a new and, album and this year. that's because we both agreed that it was lackluster. So, and let's keep it a buck. What up, Mario? I know, I know. We see you. Two Rios in a Rios. pod. What's goody, B? We see you in the building. We appreciate the love. Yo, Checking he's coming us out. up. Um, what, next, next week? week? Yeah. Cool. Bet. Yeah, yeah. So reaching out. What up? What up? So let's dive into this shit because we we on limited time. We're not gonna keep y'all all night because next fucking episodes are gonna be crazy. I'm just I already know <laughs> what it is. We're gonna have get a fucking live DJ. If there's a live DJ wants to DJ our, our show, I'm gonna just put that shit out there right now. Come through. Hit us up. We can, yeah, we can make yeah. something happen. We got a couple of them. Um. On that. So rolling back through January, we had some conversations mm -hmm. about some shit. Um. One that really sticks out was uh nick grant's return of the cool yeah nick grant's return of the cool yeah now obviously the dude's got bars bars for fucking days dude is dope. um and he's a up and coming now but as if i remember correctly i wasn't feeling this album in its entirety be from a production perspective it felt like his first album and that was my only disappointment for it well you know you know this is that's his first yeah album. yeah and but it, <laughs> you know how some people first album are normally their best because yeah. they've been living with this content for 20 years yeah 30 years but i feel like there were some misses on the production side that could have taken him to the next level because he's got the vernacular for it you know what I, I think that's where we came up with the realization mm -hmm. that you get what your budget can afford very true right remember that yeah because I, i'm not sure like who he signed to or whatever it may be mm -hmm. but you know let's just face it man and, and anybody that's been you know in the industry long enough will attest to this that labels ain't pushing you and spending the money on you as an artist the way they used to it's yep. non-existent nope. when you go into those board meetings and y'all talking about you know doing a deal or whatever the very first thing they ask you is how many Twitter followers you got? Mm. How many Instagram followers you got? Mm. You know, what What do you bring to the table? You know, what's your following like? They, they're not building you up like they did before. You yeah. know, you shit. Most artists hardly get three videos now. Like, you used to get, you know, a single, a video, a single, a video, a single, a video, and then your album come out. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it don't even look like that anymore. So, nah. um, so yeah, man. It you is know. what it is. So, Scrolling up into February was grind season, and Noah came through. Yeah. Showed these cats off, man. They were killing it. Had a great self-titled project. Yeah. And uh, just big ups to them, man. Big ups to the to that movement when you're able to really push out content at, at your heart's desire. When you're doing it your way, you're not stricken by these big ass labels that don't want your content to to fit your desires, but want it to fit whatever is already out there because they're looking at it from a cost perspective or looking at it from how much money can we make perspective. Mm -hmm. So I uh, just shout out to to Noah and Grind Season and shit For those real, guys doing. That was, the hawk. I heard, that shit Dude, was a lot of fun right now. They got oh, yeah. a lot of content out there right now, yeah. man. Bigs up, big up yeah. to my to my yeah. brothers, man. Yes, That's indeed, real. Man. Yo, so you know, Big Sean, I decided. Mm -hmm came out you know and um we reviewed it mm -hmm. and uh if if, if my memory serves me correctly you want to know when that was yeah where were you at uh episode 50 okay i hadn't i had okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah i'm yeah. not sure how you know how you looking at it well i'm just there. going i'm actually rolling from i'm rolling up i started in january i'm rolling up into march uh and then i saw run the jewels three was in february okay so let, let's start from january 
What, what we start with? We already did. We that All was right. the ones I mentioned. I'm literally going episode up. All right, cool. And I'm just popping them up on the way up. Bet. So I'm gonna let, let you run. I'm gonna run let you the drive. Jewels three. That was interesting. It was. Here's that the was thing. I actually fell in love with that shit. Anybody on with the, for the run the jewels? I'm just checking out Facebook Live. What up, Nisha? I see you, Nisha Lewis. Hit that share button, my I'll G. I'll just get ready to type hit that. The, hit like, that, yo, hit share. That. I'm about to drop the drop that in there. But Run the Jewels 3, I remember getting stuck with this album because I felt like it was something that I did not expect, mm-hmm. but I appreciated. it. And then it, Run the Jewels 3 made me enjoy Run the Jewels 2, mm-hmm. which made me enjoy Run the Jewels 1. Yeah. Because when I first heard it, I didn't like where I, – I didn't like – I didn't like the up-tempo – flow of it it didn't really sit with me killer mike does his thing but it just i didn't feel it and by run jewels three i guess i was just in a different space yeah and then i was like this shit is fire i kind of sit in that same boat Mm -hmm. where um i think i wasn't ready for the production on uh on one yeah two i thought it was okay um but three like you i'm the exact same way i think three made me appreciate because three was dope and it made me appreciate two and one going mm-hmm. back. It's like now I see, you know, what you was trying to do, and, and now you, you're doing it. You're being consistent with it. Um, my opinion or, or my feel for the record at that point, I remember feeling like this is festival music. You yeah, know, this, this is a this is a festival type of a concert. Mm-hmm. This whole album, you could just, you know, just some some 2017 Woodstock type flow. So fuck yeah, but yeah. um. Does does it make you know? A, it, as we go through this, we have to stay. Yeah. You know, and it, I was just thinking, like, does it I'm make the twenty? I'm gonna sit it to the side because it. I there's a. I think there's enough there. Like me saying, "Run the jewels three makes me want to go back and listen to it. Whereas, like that, and that's the feeling I need to even put it to the side to consider it. So I'm gonna put it to the side for my for my top twenty of the year. Okay. I'm gonna have to sit that one to the side and say, "Yeah, I could consider that in the top twenty. That may make honorable mention next week." Okay. Real shit. What about you? It's okay if it don't though. I don't know if it does. That's a, I don't, I don't know, know. I it respect does yet. that shit. I respect that. It is what it fucking yeah, is. Yeah, we we you know. Yeah. Keeping it moving. Keeping it moving. So <laughs> let's pause for the cause, get some coins real quick. This particular portion of the show is actually sponsored by Smile Design Studios. So Smile Design Studios family and cosmetic dentistry offers numerous treatments meant to maintain, heal, and customize your smile. If you're not sure what you need, don't worry. Dr. Ellison and her team are happy to meet with you to go over your patient history and goals and offer you professional recommendations. Let Smile Design Studios make you smile. Call us today at 281 281- Nine six nine seven three eight eight, or check out our website at sdshouston.com to come to schedule your appointment today. All new patients receive a free gift and fifty dollars off your first dental treatment. Smile Design Studios looks forward to providing excellent care for you and your family. So, moving up to bat, um, which. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> we hit with the old school Melly Mel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shit hit me. <laughs> Tri-state and oh no, three-dimensional prescriptions. Shout out to my guy Tri-state. Out of the my guy blue. oh no. Out of the blue, man. Yeah. There was some bangers on that album. There's some ba- yo. Get the draws is crazy. <laughs> yeah, there's some bangers on that album. I remember that shit. The whole 3D front of the damn album had me fucked up just looking at the cover of it. Yeah. Man. But I was um, I was thoroughly impressed. I enjoyed. I don't know if I set it aside in my top twenty, but I I thought it was a well put together body of work. It's in my twenty. That's I, that's I hands that. down in my twenty. I respect that. Um, also, shout out Planet Asia. You know, oh, yeah, where he, him and, and Apollo Brown that that that, that joint, whole West Coast that uh, anchovies. Oh it's yeah, crazy. remember that? Remember that? Anchovies mm-hmm. is crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't think we got around to, to reviewing it, but mm-hmm. it's it's it surely. Mm-hmm. It, it surely has a seat at the table. Okay, look at you. Look yeah. at you. So moving into March. Holy shit, Big Sean, I decided. G- growth. <sighs> Super growth. <laughs> I mean, come on. Anybody want to tune chime in on that shit? Make sure y'all, we want to know what y'all think about Big Sean's I decided. Now, now listen, we, we ain't trying to start an argument now. No, nope. we, we just want to be fair yeah. and, you know, let, let's just, you know. But was it growth enough to put it into the top 20? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. I, 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 I think that. Sean definitely has a Big seat Sean. at the top 20. I can move Big Sean to the table. Let me open up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There. It's now in considered in the top 20. Right. So, heavy in March. Yeah. March was so heavy. We hope y'all tuning in to these goddamn episodes. We <laughs> put in some fucking work, man. This feels so good to kind of do this. Yo, as well. hence the reason yeah, why we. Yeah, yeah I yeah. told you the big up. Rick Ross, rather you than me. Top 10. Holy shit, what an album. Top 10. I mean, come on. Is there is there somebody that's tuned in that did not catch this shit, man? Top 10. This was one of those. Ah. This was one of those. Like Yo, and what made it so dope is that he came off of putting out that um Damn, he had put out an album right before then. And I think it was one of it was one of those I gotta fulfill my contract albums. Mm-hmm. Cause it wasn't really that dope. It wasn't. It I, wasn't. I don't even Black remember. Black Market? Or are you talking about the one with the colorful front? Black Market. Yeah, Black Market came out, I think, right before. I think, wasn't that a mixtape? No, nah, I thought that was a real life album. No, nah, I think I that was a mixtape. There was one before Rick that had Las Rock. Vegas Boulevard on it. No, what? Yeah. Well, let me look for that shit. Yeah, we're going to keep, we're going to show y'all how the sausage is made, made today. Because we're going to, we bouncing back and forth and looking up you know, goddamn discographies. Yeah. But, um,. So I say that to say, and I'm looking at them. I, I, it ain't even there. We go. Uh, yeah, Black Market was in 2015. Hood Billionaire was in 2014. Hood Billionaire. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking. But he was coming off of those, Hood Billionaire. Yeah, he, Hood Billionaire and Black Market. I thought was just okay. Mastermind was was Mastermind was okay. It couldn't hold up to God forgives I don't. And that, that was, was a problem. problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like damn, because he came off of before that was Teflon done. Which was so crazy. you had you had nothing but fire deeper than rap, and then I mean this is the beginning of this whole you know th- this workings with uh justice league yeah like and to me this is why i i had to put rick ross in my top five i'm looking at three arguably four classic albums from this cat so so i'm gonna just leave that shit right there I two reels in a pod is gonna have a problem they're gonna call this shit uh Fucking what they call that shit cult classics yeah but anyway <laughs> but that's what it is rick ross and uh, we actually had a conversation about him being the new Biggie. Mm-hmm. 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 Even though saying, he ain't really big no more. Ain't really he lost big, a lot of weight, man. Congratulations to him. Weight. That's what's up, man. Owning wing stops and losing weight. Nah, it's not even that. I man. know it. You catch a few of them seizures, got oh. your ass thinking oh, right. Oh, hell yeah. She's you know? right. You you concerned about some other shit at that point. So, Her. Facebook Livers, we love y'all. We support y'all. Thank y'all so much. We got to cut this shit. We're going to keep this popping. We're going through our goddamn 2017 discography to pull out the top 20 albums that we're n- going to dis- discuss for the rest of the month for our top 10. We're having a live show. If there's something you're interested in, you know a DJ that want to come and DJ a live show, hit us up. Um, shoot us an email, boombap at thesphere.tv. Of course, you can hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at the Sphere TV across all that social media platforms. Use the hashtag boombap. We're going to be giving out uh, seats for our live show to have people come in, sit down, and actually watch the show, talk shit it's gonna be a party we're just gonna kick right. back kick it roll through a couple of shows but remember head over to the website subscribe we got you on itunes soundcloud google play music and of course stitcher for our techie folks we'll get the other buttons up uh later on this week if not uh, for the weekend so you can catch us on spreaker iheart you can catch us across the fucking interwebs anywhere and everywhere they're pushing podcasts last fm we're everywhere folks i like last FM. exactly and at the same time make sure you share this shit family friends colleagues love us haters side pieces share with anybody and everybody because we want to make sure we get this content out now remember to review this shit we need the stars we need the likes we need the constructive criticisms to help build better shows and then support us folks throw some coins out where the sphere.tv forward slash donate we've got a couple of options we got a single donation as well as a patreon based donation for those that want to sew in and watch us continue to grow to deliver dopeness good folks remember you can catch the rest of this right here at the sphere appreciate you all right let's get into fucking drake more life i i just want to you know put it out there that we did review that album we can, we can move on from there <laughs> exactly okay. done. done that's it we out of there now this is one of my favorites lupe fucking fiasco i forgot Hey, but the Dragus Light, you damn. know, damn, it was cool. 
That's it. It was cool. It wasn't better than the cool. You know, shout you, out to you, old school. Lupe. I want that old Lupe. Yeah, that heart and soul Lupe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I'm you, just saying. So here's the thing, right? Yeah. I feel like um, he justified it though, and, and that's why I gotta respect it because you know he went on Twitter to say like, "Look, man, I was I was having fun. It was, you know, I was on you know some different vibes, and you know this is the light. This is Droga's light. Mm-hmm. He, uh, to my understanding, and, and what I was under the impression of that there was gonna be another Droga's, you know, like addition. Like this was light, dark was coming next. You know what I'm saying? So, but shout out to Lupe, man. Um, you know, enjoyed the album. I thought it was cool. It, it just doesn't go in my top twenty. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to the Drogus Nun Light or Draft or whatever the hell he's gonna call that <laughs> shit. Whatever he's gonna call it, Loop. I'm, I'm 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 here for it, man. Now, we're in April. This was around April when we reviewed this one. Joey Badasses All American Badass. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. From that album on, that's when the heat came. Oh yeah. That's when the heat came. Yeah. After Joey, the heat came. Yeah. Um, and he he was he was the front runner of that. He, well, not the front runner. Well, because obviously Rick Ross, R- Ross yeah. had it. Yeah. But um, he he definitely but opened like the door. Time, shit yeah. Just got hot. It got hot. Shit got hot in spring. Man. Um, I'm gonna put Joe Shirley in the twenty. Uh, I I want to say in the ten, but he's Shirley in the twenty. He's yeah. he's high up on the twenty. Yeah. You know he's in the fifteen. I'm with that. He can start fighting from there. I'm, I'm damn sure with yeah. that. Um, and, I mean, he sat in that top five spot. When we, we did our mid, mid-year, mid and we were like, oh, top five albums. Here we are, this, 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 and this. Joy was one I'm going to go them. through that before next week. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, and then, of course, uh, I, and not that – and I don't, I don't remember if this was the moment that this shit happened, but I, I enjoyed – our Kendrick Lamar show. Remember Ooh. we did that whole show? <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, man. Yo, who we have up here for that? Uh, uh, Quantum Leap Radio, none other than Grandfather, Grandfather Clock. Clock. What up, B? So, yeah, so, man. We looked at the whole right discography, there. compared them to Rakim, Nas, Jay. Yeah. Like, that was a damn good show, man. We and had I, a lot and of I'm fun a, with I that. said it then, and I'm going to say it now. He is the best rapper alive. Hey, and, and the only thing, the only argument I got from everyone was time. He only got three albums. And then, and then yo, I, I ain't trying to hear that shit, yeah. dude. Now, Talib, Kweli, and Styles P got together and gave us seven. Great album. Great fucking album. Great album seven. See, culture. and here's the thing. This is what I said then, and I'll say this shit now. You drop seven, seven tracks that's hotter than somebody else's 13. 14, come 15, 20, 16, 17. Come on, man. Like, you, bruh, easy top Great 10. material, great discussion, um, bars upon bars. Um, if you got something negative to say about Styles P and, and, and how he gets down, there's something wrong with you. You shouldn't be in this conversation to begin <laughs> with. Um, definitely in the, in the 20. Yeah. Um, love it, man. Love love the, 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 the conscious wave that hip-hop did this year in eight and seventeen. Yes indeed. Word. Now right before Cinco de Mayo, we got to review that Raycorn, The Wild. I was wrong about that. Man oh I man. I was wrong about that. That album I it, came through the week ooh, after like yeah. yo apologies. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry I was wrong. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what mood I was in that day. Yeah. Um yeah. The Wild what an album. Was dope. It was. The Wild is dope. Yeah, it's on the list. It's man. on the list for sure. The chef is on the list. Chef man. is in the kitchen. Yeah. So um, I'm. With I was a big here. shout out to Marvin. You know, like yeah. I said, I, I, and I recall saying it then. Like, if you don't know shit about Marvin Gaye, be listen to that song, man, and then go listen to his music. Yes, indeed. Word. Now, um, I'm gonna get. You know, Young and May dropped the album. Her story. It was cool. It was cool. But and that's where we'll stand. Logic dropped. Everybody. <sighs> Shout out to Layla E. What up, Layla? Yeah, what's up, Layla? Deathmatic. Yeah, what's going yes, on, y'all? Yes, indeed. Check, that was a check great out show. Our home girl. Appreciate you coming through on that. Um, That's all I got to say about yeah, that. Yeah, I like Logic as an artist. <laughs> um, a lot of people didn't know he was African American, so it know. shocked some people shocked when me. he was saying nigga and shit like that. So it's was, cool. He said house nigga, but you know what? I'm gonna let you live for a moment. Go, go yeah. ahead. What, what point you trying to make? And then and then realize, and then oh like, wait a minute, you're African American. Like and then in in instantly shit changes like oh okay 
Cool. But you know what I find is crazy that he's nominated for, you know, um, for, you know, awards and stuff like that. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, I, I can appreciate that. But I listened to the album not too long ago again, and I was just like, I get where you're trying to go. Yeah. It's, you, I just I, I just don't like it. I feel you. Word. I respect it, mm-hmm. but I, I ain't got to like it. It is what it is. Yeah. So, so yeah. Let's go ahead and pay some coins yes, sir. and then keep this shit rolling. So this portion of the show is sponsored by The Sphere. Are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every time. Give us a call today at area code 832-772-7789. Or send us an email over to advertise at the sphere dot TV. There it is. All right. So David Banner hit us with the God Box. God Box is dope. God Box is great. That's a great record. Um, there's only a couple of records on there where I think out of the whole album, there's two records on there that he could have did without. Okay. Um, other than that, great message. Fuck is David Banner, B. We ain't gotta talk about production. You know? Really good features. Yo, as a matter of fact, who did I ju- we just reviewed someone's app crit. Yeah. Remember I said uh, mm-hmm. using mm-hmm. Pimp C was only reserved for a selected few? He's one of them. I'm I'm cool with David Banner featuring uh Bun B and, and Pimp C on the hook. Mm-hmm. I thought that was dope. Uh didn't even cross my mind, you know, when I heard it. Uh but good album. Definitely yeah. in the 20, for sure. Good deal. For cool. sure. Now, up late June, mm-hmm. we hit the people with Cool G Rap, Return of the Dawn. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> they, ain't that some shit? I think there was like one or two tracks where we were like, yeah, that's dope. And then the rest, it was like, damn it, there was an opportunity. Shout out to Abner who came through for yes. that, man. Gave us some gems and ode to the past. Man. My man, A.B. What up, A? Yo, uh, to keep it thorough, yeah. um, six months later, no no replay value. Um, but the one, the the two tracks that stick out in my head, stick yeah. out of my head the most yeah. is the joint with Fred the Godson because he killed it. <laughs> As and always. And the joint with Sheik Looch because he killed it. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but, you know, the one thing I will say about this is I respect – that they they use the the one producer one MC formula. I'm just not really feeling the production. Um, and I and, and the other thing that I like as well is that they have real gutter MCs yeah. rhyming with Cool G rap, and that's pressure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yo, I was a kid listening to Cool G rap. You know, watching him on Video Music Box mm. after school at three o'clock, zoned into. Um, all of his joints, man, with him and DJ Polo. Like, I'm showing my age for real, but it is what it is. Um, so being in a room with a legend that still Ooh. got it, like, Ooh. fuck, still got it, who's never lost it. Yeah, that's pressure, you know. So respect to you know everybody. It's just, I, you know, I, I'm sure even then I said it. You know, I, I wish if it was Cool G rapping Prime and Primo DJ Premier, we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Something else would have been brought out. Yeah. The cool G. <laughs> For real. So, shut up. In the in the dead fucking middle of summer, we got blessed with 444. I, there's nothing else that needs to be said. Top five. Nothing else that needs to be said. J, I'm putting it on the list. Jay Z <laughs> 444. None, no, no. Tap, tap, tap. That's it. That's it. So then right after that, of course, Khaled hit us with his Grateful album. Yeah. Um, I call that the Bridge in the Gap album. I agree. You know? Yeah, we talked um, about that. Shit, if anything, with all the gossip and bullshit going on, you need to re-release it. So <laughs> people buy it again and hopefully have, you know, a better 
conversation and better understanding. Uh, salute to you, DJ Khaled. Uh, blessings and success. You've earned it, brother. Yep. So um, I see your little kid, man. He's a cute little guy. Word, man. That, that cute, little dude. He's a cute man. little guy, man. He, he going to be a pharaoh in somebody <laughs> Some country because that dude is For fly. Real. We the best. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so right after that, uh, it's still July was hot as shit. July we was got hot. Big Boy's Boomerverse. Yeah. And then we got Meek Mill's wins and losses. Yeah. Uh, the replay value, once again. You know what? The only reason why I'm not rocking with it is because I'm not 25 years old. Very true. I'm going to keep it real. I heard, I heard somebody tell me their top five was one. Meek Mill was in their top five. I was like, okay. At albums or rappers? Rappers. And I was like, okay. It's a, it's oh, a, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Album, album for this year, for 2017. It's such it a great comeback story. It really is. Like, the album is dope. It's not bad. It's, I'm, I'm putting it in the 20 because it's a dope album. He did a really great job. Okay. Um, you know, even outside of the beef. It's a dope album, man. Okay. I, I, I'm signing that. No, nah, I feel you. All right. Boomerverse. No? Nothing? It's fucked up for me because I'm, I am I, I respect Big Boy, but I'm not a Big Boy fan. Okay. Right? So, I guess my, well, I guess my opinion is kind of fucked off because, you know, that just made me sound like, well, if I'm not a fan of yours and I can't say your album is dope. Um, so, on that note, I think it's a good album. I've heard great things from my peers about it. They're feeling it. Um, it's just something about Big Boy from my standpoint. It just. Eh, I got you. It's, it's, but I respect it because he he's talented. He makes dope music. He does. You know what I'm saying? He so he's a great artist, right? Like that don't, doesn't mean don't take you have my, great albums. Yeah, don't take my opinion to to, to yeah. heart. Please take this one with a grain of salt. No. I would say check out the album and and call it for yourself. So, it, it's worth a check. Worth a check. Right. So Tyler the Creator's Flower Boy. That's my shit. I already see you smiling. That's man, my shit. As I go to the and list. you know what I'm happy and proud of myself. Hold on. Get some of that back right there. There you go. Really? Um, yeah, these some crazy. Nah, I, I think some people are. Uh, I think some people do it for the culture. Yeah. And then I think some people just do it just to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really glad of what my opinion was and, and me sticking to it because now he's he's nominated for album of the year. I think. Or best rap album. I think he's in best rap album yeah. category. Mm-hmm. Um, so big ups to him. Lots of growth. Lots of growth since Goblin. Uh, not Goblin. Was it called Goblin? There was one called Goblin. Yes, yeah, it's his first album. Yeah. So hella growth. Yeah. Totally stellar different. production. Yeah. Great features. Great topics of dis- uh, a discussion. You know mm-hmm. everything from him being lonely, him being depressed. Yo, he made a dope ass song about glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right. Because <laughs> that shit's coming back up. Vic Mensa's autobiography. And of course, shout out to Jadon Weaver for uh, coming he through murdered from Egos it. and Opinions. His, he came through with his ego and opinion yeah. and murdered that album. Yeah, he did. Um, you know, I, I like Vic uh Mensa a lot mm-hmm. because I feel like he's the the new freedom fighter. That's that's that. my tag with him. Um I enjoyed his his stage performance at the 444 concert mm-hmm. i thought i think he did really well um now i'll hop in i think there's a there I, for me there's replay on the on the album there's songs on there that i can that i gravitate to the things on there that i can continue to listen to mm-hmm. then there there are pieces on there that are timeless mm-hmm. and i can appreciate that from uh i almost said nick grant i can appreciate that from uh the autobiography uh but i will say this Putting together his last couple of mixtapes, I thought was almost harder than this album. That's mm. the only thing that keeps me from putting it in my top twenty. I'm gonna say honorable mention and uh, and keep it moving. Yeah, ASAP Twelve East Twelve album. Mm. So I wasn't here to review that album. You were I not. Think, uh, Shout out to Good Bar. Good yeah, Bar was in the Bar building in for that one. Um, but I have heard it. You know, on on first listen, I was like, eh. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think I'm used to a different tone and a different sound from other ASAP members. Um, but going back and listening to it again, I feel his hunger. You know, um, I feel the the ambition of wanting to come up and not go mm-hmm. back. Um, it definitely gave me a little fuel, a little motivation. So I, I think it's a good album. You know, again, if if I was in a younger demographic, I would probably listen to it a little bit more. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so it doesn't have a lot of the substance that I'm looking for in my music today. But overall, yeah, honorable mention. And I'm putting it in my top 20. I, I enjoyed it. I felt it. Um, I could listen to it on repeat. I, I, and it just, I gravitated to it. I enjoyed the production style. It was a little different. Mm-hmm. Didn't feel like acid rap as much as some of the ASAP stuff does, especially from uh, uh, Rocky. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, Ferg has a different vibe. Everybody has a different vibe, which yeah. is a great concept for a collective. Yeah. Everybody's different. So, I, But I fuck with it. After that, we got hit with the mink coat killer actually no ben. we were late we were late we were late but we and reviewed apologies. that shit and Yo. my god my so so let me tell the people the reason why we even got on that shit was because nick grant got with jaron Benton and did fucking cream cream 17 17 yeah and that, that shit was, was so fire. fire we was like well let's do some homework and there it was, man, sitting in our face, I 2017 remember, release. I remember calling you. I was in the car. And if anyone <laughs> from afar would have saw me, it yeah. would have looked like I was arguing with a chick. Because, yeah. you know, if, if you watch a man argue, you could tell if he's arguing with a woman or with a dude. The, the a woman driving man insane. But I was so animated, so excited. like, And, and I felt some kind of way, like mm-hmm. negative. Like, yo, we, we should have. Ben did this because yeah. this shit came out this month and na 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 na. Yeah, it was pretty strong. Yo, crazy! I love the album. Um, you know, so many people be like, yo, I, you know, th- my influences was this, my influences was that. And you don't hear none of that shit in their music, right? Yep. He is such a fan and influenced by Wu Tang Clan. It's almost like he did an album t- to show uh, his gratitude. Ode. You know, I'm like, yeah. oh yeah. And the shit is just fire. It is, yo. My personal, because outside of our list, I will have a personal list that I'll share. That album is fighting for a fifth spot mm. on my top ten. Hey, so he's surely shit. in our top ten. Real shit. List, yeah. I mean, like you can just let it rip. Like, yeah. Can, there are times I go cycle in the morning. Jaren Ben, like that's my go to because it's just so. It's such a great fucking. Album, he posted man. some shit on Instagram about how he was going to stop rapping. And I normally don't don't comment on shit like that. Yeah, man, I was like, nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> you had one of the best albums this year. Like, I don't know what kind of attention you're looking for, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to give you shit. You better brush yourself off, get the fuck back in this. Man, just cut that bullshit cut out. That shit out. Word right, up. I Sometimes that. you just need someone to shake you real quick. <laughs> yeah. Like, the fuck, the fuck is, is wrong doing? with you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, Action Bronson hit us late September. Love it. Blue Chip 7000. Love it. Easy top 20. Easy. E- Done. Nine and 10. Ooh, I see you talking. I He's see you 10. talking. There's only probably one song that I would consider removing from that album. Consider. You would have to really convince me to mm-hmm. to let it go. Uh, Blue Chip 7 is, is, is crazy. Love yep. it. So before we roll to this next one, yeah. I'm going to throw an alley to you for this next sponsor. Uh! All right. So this portion of the show is sponsored by Houston Housewives of Finance. Did you know that only four states in the United States offer financial education? 33% don't pay their bills on time. 39% of Americans carry credit card debt from month to month. And 39% of adults say they don't have enough in savings. Don't become one of these statistics. Let Houston Housewives of Finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scheduling your complimentary personal financial strategy. Contact Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Or you can email them at info at HoustonHousewivesOfFinance.com. Make sure you ask how you can participate in a complimentary financial literacy workshop near you. Houston Housewives of Finance are the new faces of the new age of financial services. All right. Next up, as we finish this shit out, Fred the Godson. Mm, Gordo. It's Gordo, baby. The the Gordo album review. Gordo. It was it was fat. I'll say that shit. <laughs> the album, the fucking album was fat. It had some shit that could have been trimmed. But if you trim the fat away, mm-hmm. that meat was so tender, man. There were tracks on there that like are bangers. I, w- I want to give it to twenty. I'm damn sure it's already on the fucking list. All right. Layla's Wisdom from Rhapsody. Right after that, Heated Up October. For those that didn't tune in, 
we had some choice words. This would be one of those times where I hit the <laughs> replay, where we do like a, a replay and show you a replay of that fucking show. We had some choice words about this album. But the more I listen to it, it's one of those, the more I listen to it, the more I love. The bars are there. Agreed. I, I'm, I, I did feel forced to listen to multiple productions that I should not have been forced to listen to. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to give it my top 20 out of respect for the bars. Mm-hmm. But it may fall to a mention. Um, I was a little confused um, in listening to the album. You know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of changes. Um, you know, again, the boss is there. Congratulations to her for being nominated for two Grammys. That's huge. Um, definitely cements her place in, in, in hip hop as far as I'm concerned. You know, like I said, she, she's been our queen since the beginning. Exactly. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm I forced to agree with you about it being in the 20s. She's going to have to fight for a position on this one. You know, I'm still a fan of uh, Beauty and the Beast. Um, but this one is good. Is is like, you know, like I said in, in that past episode, it's like someone handed her, you know, uh, an AK or Uzi. And she was just letting off and, and just couldn't control the kickback. And, you know, mm-hmm. it's just going all over the place. You know, that's the best way I could describe that album. Um, but salute to her, the whole Jamla's team. B. Y'all y'all are doing it, man. Shout out GQ, too. This shit is yep. fly. Now, late October, we got Mano's Party in Pain with, a, with actual, you know, Giving that shit Yeah there was another album With like a mixtape as well mm-hmm. And then Luke gave us West 1996 part 2 So Shout out to Brooklyn In the building But Luke Top 10 easy Okay Actually it, 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 in my book He's fighting for like Not better than Jared He's fighting for like 7 Nah actually it's It's no, don't do that. I'm gonna save that argument. Say that. Because his shit is his okay. shit is so in a different lane where we we can have it's that so argument like next week. To take you back. It's nostalgic. But we'll have the conversation. Yeah, but we'll the stories that. is dope too. I'm not taking away from that. They're, they are dope. Yeah. Not doper than the meat coat killer. Mm-hmm. But it's cool. It's cool. It's, it's cool. cool. It's cool. Big crit forever is a mighty long time. Yo, shout out to Big Crit. Let me tell you. Uh, he's on one. tour right now. He'll be here in Houston. Heavy in April. is the fucking crown. Yes, man. With him let me, and um, let me say this, bro. I don't do many double albums, right? I don't. I think the shit's played out and corny. We've seen from people like Talib and Styles that you can do seven hot tracks and have fire. We've seen from Jay you could do a hot ten and f- and fuck around and be considered. Uh, album of the year in yeah. the, by Grammys. I didn't necessarily need a double album from Crit. Mm-hmm. However, there's content on both discs, or in this case, track from track one through twenty something, because that's just how it is on the digital <laughs> space. There's there's parts in both where I'm like, this shit is fire. Mm-hmm. I wanted a Catalactica part two. That's not what I got, and I'm mm-hmm. okay with that. Mm-hmm. But what I did get, I love. Shout out to Crit. You're in my top 20, fucking around. You're going to be in my top 10. So I remember saying that I wasn't sure if the album had much uh, replay value Mm -hmm. for me. I'm feeling a little different today. Uh, I think my opinion is is very similar to yours. With It's just so much material on it. that you'll find what you like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, you'll find what you like. You'll find what you what you really could fuck with. I mm-hmm. appreciate his honesty. Um, I think this is one of those albums to grow on. You yeah. know, I, I don't think I shitted on it last time when we discussed no, it. No, not necessarily. But I I just really didn't know what to do with it. Yeah. I, I got confused because number one, you know. I didn't treat it like a double CD because I let the whole thing ride out. Every time I listened to it, I listened to the whole entire album. Same here. And um. It was just so much, so much material. It was man. a lot of content. And I, it was I just, Gordo. Yeah, I just, it was I just cool. felt like it, it wasn't cohesive. Yeah. Um, well, and here's the thing. I, I felt like it was cohesive. The first album was like, this is for the South. Mm-hmm. This is for what, my, what we're accustomed to. You know, this is that 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 big crit fan. If you're a fan of my sub and you're a fan of, of forever, I mean, this this is your lane. Mm-hmm. That second album was for people who enjoyed Catalactica, for people who enjoyed uh, his mixtape that came out right before that. Which way? Uh, which way? Some. Which way? 
No, we got something about which way from here. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Which way from here, or whatever it was. So it was more real Justin Scott. Let me talk about these mixed messages that I live in. Mm -hmm. Bury me with gold. You know, just just really giving us some some very honest and truthfulness. I think you mentioned that earlier. Yeah. So in that that half of the album like sold me. Now, last two, and this shit don't even. We don't even have to. We don't even have to tell y'all where these two are gonna go. We got fire in December. This shit was hot as hell in December. Sci highs, no dope on Sunday. Ooh. And then back dope with <laughs> Fabulous and Jada Kisses Friday on Elm Street. So this portion of the show, we just going to wrap this shit up. Yeah, show is over because <laughs> them two, holy shit, the conversation. They, they fighting for a place yo, in the top five, man. Easily. This year, fuck yeah. Easily top five, man. But that's it, folks. That we've wrapped up the whole year for 2017. We've given y'all our top 20. We've pulled them out. I hope you're paying attention and listening, because next week it's gonna be fucking fire. Ten to five. No, yeah. ten to six. Hey, it's going down, man. It's going down, man, man. And 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 that's always the hardest part. Yo, just tell 10, me what, what nine, eight, seven, and six. It's what what so color? Hard. What color gloves you want? You want the black I mean, ones or the blue? Whatever ones? you need. No, no, no. It's your red, choice. Wear the red ones. No, nah, I don't got red. I All got right. black and I got blue. Which one you want? I'll take the black ones. Bet. I'll bring. I'll, I'll hold is. on to the blue ones. It's a fight coming, folks. Hit us up. Hit us up here at the show. Boom Bap at the Sphere TV. Of course, you can reach me anywhere online: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Fuck Snapchat right now. I ain't feeling it. <laughs> at G Hawkins. That's G Hawkins with the Z. My main man Reem. Uh, snapped. No, no, not snapping. I think I got an account on there though, but I'm not snapping. Exactly. Um. Instagram is N Y K A Y seventy nine. Uh Twitter is at Reem Boom Bap. Um uh, also you could check out some of the playlists and the stuff that I've been feeling online at SoundCloud at Kareem Tillman. R E E M Tillman. I know some other people spell Kareem R I M and stuff like that, so it's all good. Um but you know, as as usual, we we we, we appreciate y'all. Like if we wasn't getting the love back from y'all, we probably would have wrapped this up and did something different. Um, so we appreciate that. <laughs> yep, we do. And, um, you know, please share the content and get involved in the conversation, man. Make sure you holler. It is. And remember, folks, y'all remember shit else. Rap minus lies equals hip hop. And that's that boom bap. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace.